Kaya is a sweet, eggy coconut jam fragranced with pandan leaves. <sighs> nice! And I just want to see how good it is when made fresh. So I start off with 4 whole eggs, decent amount of sugar, coconut cream for richness, and washed pandan leaves twisted into a knot. Into a skillet and keep stirring. Don't stop, as the legends say, use low heat. I'm using setting free here. Okay, first problem is, this pandan knot is blocking me from stirring, so I might as well use it to stir, but then it's also coming undone, so I'll just cut it up. Good thing is, the colour is turning from yellow to green as the juice is coming out. Once I can part the green sea with this thing, get the pandan leaves out with a strainer. Oh, what a mess. There's quite a lot of wastage from the kaya, and sorry, I can't resist from all the hard work just now. The texture is jammy and too good to waste. There must be a better way to do this. So first problem I'm going to solve here is the pandan leaves. I'm going to call upon the Tasmanian blender to rip these pandan leaves after washing and cutting them into strips. I thought it wasn't going to work because there was no juice in the bowl until I squeeze it really hard to get the green juice flowing through my hands. Oh, that's quite a lot of juice from the leaves. It's really bitter too. So since I blended about four times more leaves, I'm going to take just about a quarter of it. Second problem I'm going to solve is that long cooking time. That amount of kaya took me 40 minutes of constant stirring. So I'm going to try with just the egg yolks here, where most of the flavour is, as egg whites are almost entirely water, same amount of sugar and coconut, and off we go. This time, it's really a breeze. Happy stirring! Keep the steam gentle. Temperature-wise, let's keep it around 65 to 70 degrees Celsius. I'm on setting free of my induction stove, by the way. And after a while, it's going to get a little too hot with bigger steam and some curdling, so quickly take it off the heat and back on again, just as Gordon Ramsay told us, except that I'm going to use a damp tower to cool off the base quicker to prevent any overcooking. Now, that's better. I'm going to reduce the heat to 2 now because there's less and less water so we can take the food off from the gas pedal. Making this feels a lot quicker now, with just 10 minutes in and it's already thick. After about 20 minutes, we are able to part the green sea. Onto a cup. In. Scrape down all that goodness. No mess this time. And wow, the colour and texture, what a difference! The egg yolk version tastes much richer with a sweet pandan candy hit, even though the yield turns out to be about the same as the whole eggs version. It's much shinier, thicker, and definitely worth more than just using the egg yolks. It saves half the time, and more importantly, gives that rich kaya flavour I've dreamt of. Best kaya I've ever eaten. Now let's see what Natasha thinks. The first one is lighter in the texture, it's like more smooth and I can taste the egg in the first kaya but it's okay generally, it's not too sweet So I eat the second one mm. The second one is thicker in texture and I couldn't taste as much egg as the first one but it's a bonus point because I prefer not to taste the egg I think I like the second one even more because I like the thick texture.